Dave. Nick, how's it going? Good, man. Good. Uh, we're talking today about the TSI-1 and the TSI-4 drivers from Titleist. These are kind of interesting. I can't wait to tell you about these. I've actually told Dave nothing about what we're doing. This is accurate. So he's, re he's ready to nobody, hit. Nobody tells me anything for these shoes. So Dave, you have the TSI-1 there. <laughs> I see that. Do you know anything about that? Anything at all? I don't, but it looks cool. Yes. Uh, so that is made to be super light. Okay. The head weight on that one is 193 grams. Yep. Which relative to the TSI-4 we're going to hit is 204. So it's substantially lighter. And for fun, I was going to take the nine gram weight out because then it just feels like you're essentially swinging the shaft around. It felt like just holding it here, yes. but I haven't even swung it yet. So, so this would be for someone who wants increased club head speed. The shaft's a little bit longer as well. And then that one has a new uh, Aldola shaft in it that I've, I'm finding interesting, but I'd like to know a little bit more about it uh, called the Ascent. What that's really made is that the, the shaft from about the grip end down the shaft, it's very stiff, much further down than a lot of other shafts are before the deflection of the shaft or the bending towards the target kicks in when you hit a ball. Yep. So that could be interesting in having just different performance. I would think that it not necessarily would change your ball flight very much, but you might get a more consistent shaft that way. So I find that intriguing. And then the weight on that one, that's the 50, 40? 40. 40 in there. Yeah. Severely light. Super so light. you got long, you have light, super light club head, head as well. And then the center of gravity in that one has moved backwards in the club quite a bit also so that is making this a very high spin driver relative to the rest but also super forgiving as the uh, moi on that one i think it was 4900 4900 which right. is pretty close to the tops of our list relative to the weight of the head that is severely uh, forgiving as a driver so usually when you make the club heads lighter the overall twisting or the mishits that you get or the the moi properties the forgiveness of the driver go way down because that weight really helps uh, with provide some stability on off-center hits. This one, though, they move that center of gravity so far back, it's going to be super forgiving. Okay. I wouldn't pick this as a, a someone who's a high club head speed player or who already spins the ball uh, enough or too much. This won't work for you. So this will sound like, it sounds like it's the opposite driver to what <laughs> I need. That's why I can't wait for you to hit it. <laughs> so that one's on 10 degrees. Give it a rip. Give it a rip. But, do, you uh, me to, do you want me to adapt my swing to it or just give it a rip? No, I think just do your thing. Just so do my thing. We All just right. measured where the projected center of gravity is on the face. It's slightly towards the toe, so this won't be the most draw bias driver. Uh, and the center of gravity is pretty high, so it's going to spin quite a bit. Now, just as you say that doesn't fit you, wherever you hit that on the face, Pound made that it. awesome. 300 yards, that right was, center of the fairway. That was hit right on. That was pretty good. See if, hit. See if it yeah. made a mark. So for you, if it. you do want to draw less, this will take some of the curve off. Yeah. Um, if you're a big slicer, the shape of the head itself and the, where the center of gravity is won't make that severely helpful to you relative to yep. some of the draw drivers on the market. But you can swing this one fast. So the backspin on that one, 39.67. A little high. <laughs> That's almost uh, double what you're really after. That's so. That it driver performs will, as, I, as I would expect. That driver will stop like a dropped cat on a it's green. Got, it's got some high spin properties to it. For you to nail that and only get the uh, 158 ball speed is a little bit low. It's a nice shot. Maybe a little higher on the face. A little higher. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit high toe. That's good. So where this is valuable, while I say someone like you who swings fast and spins it too much already, it might not help you. You can see how forgiving that is. I'm, I'm not discounting this for one of my clubs for this year. No, you're two for two. <laughs> that one went further, 313. If you want to find the fairways and still get some club head speed, that's a good one. I would like to try that with actually a uh, no weight in it and see what happens. This yeah. one, you know, 183 grams. And even add a bunch of weight to it and see what happens. But we haven't had the time to do that one yet. Straight off of uh, the stock settings, though, that's pretty good. Ready for the TSI 4? We're going to skip the 2 and the 3 and go straight to the 4. We've already done the 2 and the 3. <laughs> you either weren't here or you were here, but really weren't here anyway. So the 4 is the one taking the PGA Tour by storm. Yep. And I mean that, like, literally. This is the one winning the driver counts uh, week in and week out right now. Uh, this one I find very interesting. It is a very normal looking tour like shape when you put it down. The pear shape comes to mind as a common theme. Yeah. It still has the, the newest titanium face, which is more expensive and gives you some faster ball speeds. More expensive to make, uh, and it's a really hard material. But that one is very reminiscent to me. It's kind of like the TaylorMade SLDR driver. Yep. Do you remember that I one? I do. So it was. Uh, 
Uh, very low on the MOI scale, it was 3,500 grams per centimeter squared. This one is 42, yep. if I remember right, so 42. more forgiving. But the center of gravity in this one is low, and it's pretty much in the middle of the face. So the tour players who really need to command how much spin they put on the ball, this is really helpful for that, looks good. And then the, uh, the center of gravity being where it is, that low, but in the middle of the face, I bet they get some awesome ball speeds off yep. this. So knowing that we've only had this for a short amount of time, you're gonna be the first one to try it. All the math shows up that you want a little bit more loft with this one, so it's even more important to get fit. I just have that in the A1 setting, which yep. you like nine degree drivers, so I wanted to try it. That is a nine degree head. Okay. Uh, a bunch of cool shaft options. You don't have to get super long with the shaft and you can still get some ball speeds. I'm super curious to see what happens here. Both drivers look really, really good. This one, of course, is a little closer to what I normally play in terms yeah. of the weight and everything. So. Feels a little bit better, but the profile is cool yeah. and the shaft is very cool. Yeah, the all black look looks really nice. Yep. Um, this com would be very comparable as well to the Callaway um, Sub-Zero driver. So if you really like the, the spin controlling traits of uh, drivers and you want to lower it, like we're going to read this one, it's going to be a very low spin driver. Get some more loft, get a shaft that fits you very well, and this can be a good driver for high ball speeds. That went 309 and carried 257 on yeah, our quad here. I felt like it was hit a little low. On the low, face. okay. Well, the backspin on that one um, was extremely low. Yeah. Your total spin at Trial. 1116 RPMs of backspin. This club does so, feel like it's about twice as heavy as that other one. <laughs> it really get, does. That is a heavy one too. to get used to it. So that one at 204 is definitely more of what faster club head speeds are really looking for in a driver. That was better. A nice little hit. push, but a little better hit. Yeah, it's a good one. That looks like it's going to launch pretty good. I'll be curious to see how far that one goes. Ball so go that's far. carrying a good 20, 30 yards further than the, the one because yeah. your spin is in a more appropriate window. So 338, see how far that carried, 312, 26 yards of roll. That, I'm telling you, I think that has a chance to be a rocket launcher. So they went kind of the opposite way with, with the drivers, which is interesting. A lot, of, a lot of manufacturers are trying to get the MOI really high. This one, they went specifically towards, I want to, someone who's a good player, and yeah. how can we get them the best ball speed and keep your spin down? That's, yep. a, that's a good one. That, that, one, that cool. one felt really, really good. It wouldn't take me long to figure it out, get it to go a little straighter, but yeah. that thing felt like it just blasted off the club face. That one with the hosel combination, you have about 2.25 degrees of loft that you can change this. Yep. A degree and a half up, so your nine can be a 10 and a half, and it can go down three quarters of a degree. Um, not much change in the face angle really occurs with this hosel. I think it's pretty good. So uh, you've got a little bit of adjustability, but these are so important to get fit. Right. These are Absolutely. in particular because you can see how radically different the ball flights are. And uh, while I still am going to say that human testing or Dave just hitting these shots is not the best way at all to try to pick out your driver, that's why we measure everything. It still is so telling to see what you just did there with two radically different yep. ball flights. Although. I think the one you might hit in the fairway a little bit more. I'll probably sense. hit that one in the fairway more often. This one probably 20, 25, 30 yards longer. So being a typical golfer, I'll take that one. I'll yeah. take the distance, man. <laughs> so if you're interested in buying a new driver, I would certainly consider both of these depending on the type of player you are. And right now is the best time to get fit for a driver. So if you want to do that, find a local golf tech near you.